We've got the drink. Let's see it here. Tizer, the great British top. Only 59p. It's another uh, bar soda here. Um, here's the can. Uh, it's not too fancy. Uh, frankly, it's kind of just doing its thing. Yeah, the only kind of indication is just that it's a great, the great British pop. Um, so I'm not really sure what we're um, what we're getting into. There is salt in here, I'm seeing, which has been interesting. Um, okay, let's have a little reading, shall we? These colors are not good for my eyes. Where's my phone? Yep. It's like blue and silver on red. And it's like hard to read. Sparkling mixed flavor soft drink with sugar and sweeteners. Mixed flavor. That's what it, it's advertising itself as. Mixed flavor. What does that mean? I always worry about drinks that can't, um, that can't like commit to a flavor. Like we had a really tasty drink the other day, the uh, that like lemonade thing. That was like very much a lemon and lime drink. Like it was very much just put out there. This one just says mixed flavor. Um, carbonated water, sugar, acid. Okay. Doesn't specify which kind of one it is. Uh, concentrates, black carrot, safflower. Something that just says flavoring, preservative, potassium sorbate in parentheses, sweeteners. Okay. Tizer and the Tizer logo are registered trademarks owned by AG Bar. Canned in Glasgow. Shouts out to Glasgow. Um, and that's it. I really don't know what we're going to get into here. I don't know what flavor this is supposed to be. Uh, but anyways, Tizer, Great British Pop. Let's open it. This is supposed to, it, it is mixed, that's for sure. Because I got a fruity hit initially, and then I got a cola hit, and now I'm getting something else. I'm not particularly fond of. Um, all right, we'll, we'll have a, um, I'm gonna pour it into a glass because I'm curious of the color, and also, um, I'd prefer drinking it in a glass anyway. Okay, not the color I expected. Here going. Kind of matches the can, I guess. Got this sort of thing going on. <laughs> okay. Smell. The smell is interesting. Let's pour a little bit more in there. I haven't had a tizer in decades, but. I'm, I'll be curious to know after I try this uh, if, if this was something that you uh, enjoyed back decades ago or not, Electric Dragon. Okay, well, let's have a shot at it, huh? Mm. Ooh. What is this? What is what? I don't know what this is. What are you trying to be drink? Yeah, so I'm really confused by this. I, um, it really is a mixed flavor thing because there are moments where I get. A little bit of this, and some moments when I get a little bit of that. And it doesn't 
I don't. It's. It's very strange. It's very, very strange. Okay. So. I don't. I don't. I don't love it. I don't love it. But I. I will say that I think that this is not the worst thing I've ever drank on this channel. That's a pretty low bar. But this is this is fine. It's fine. And so what I'm kind of going through in my head here is initially it's it's really really uh, carbonated. So there's a lot of like kind of bite to it initially. Um, and I think almost my brain wants this to be a cola. So it kind of starts tasting like a cola for a second. And then like after that moment is kind of the fleeting moments gone, it becomes sort of like a fruity drink, but then it kind of isn't. It just kind of is like sweetener. It's kind of like um, if you've ever gone to your like local supermarket and you've gotten, you wanted to get like, maybe you really were like, man, I really would like a Coca-Cola. And you're like, but I can't afford it. So I'm gonna, I'm, instead of getting a, a proper Coca-Cola, I'm gonna get um, like, you know, you're, let's say you're at Sam's Club, you're gonna get like the Sam's, Sam's Club Cola, you know what I mean? Like the third, the third party cola, if you will, sort of the, 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 the cheap knockoff of that. Something that's like, doesn't really have proper sugar, you know, or in the case of like, you know, back home, it'd be like, there's no high fructose corn syrup. It's, it's just all like sweeteners. And like, it just kind of doesn't taste right. Do you know what I mean? And that's kind of what this is, but like it goes through this roller coaster every time I sip on it, where it's like, there's a moment where it's like, oh, this could be an interesting cola. And then it's like, it's not a cola at all. It's a fruity drink. And then it like, then it's like, actually that's not fruit. All of that's just fake sugar. And then I kind of like, I don't really know how to feel about this. You know what I mean? It's a trip every time. Yeah, I, I, it's so the thing is that it's not it's not bad, I guess, you know, it's not bad. It's fine. It's a suitable drink. If there's anybody out there in chat who likes the Tizer Great British Pop, I wouldn't hold it against you. It's it's fine. Um, I also don't think it's very good. Like, I think there's a limit to where how high it can, can really like let this thing um, <laughs> like kind of go and, and, and do its thing of see the color here it's it's interesting <laughs> this is so weird i don't know if i've ever had a drink quite like this one which is i guess a good thing um i mean this is a drink i'll finish i finish all of them to be fair even the horrendous sea salt soda which, by the way if anybody missed the sea salt tasting it is up on my youtube now um it wasn't uh it wasn't terrific but you might want to watch it anyway. There it is. Um, Dr. Best versus Dr. Pepper. Exactly. That's it. What's the other one? It's like, instead of Mountain Dew, it's like Mountain Lightning. That's not the Walmart version of it. Mountain Lightning. <laughs> and it's kind of just like a not as good Mountain Dew, do you know? Yeah, I don't, oh, see, it, it's good at first. I'm ready to be like, actually, I'm turned around on it. And then it just hits you with the sweetener at the end. It, it's like trying to mask it. It really tries, you know what I mean? If I drank, if I drank like that, um, like a Mr. Pib, right? Is Mr. Pib a knockoff, Dr. Pepper? Mr. Pib. When you drink Mr. Pib, it's not messing around with you. You know exactly what you're getting into with a Mr. Pib. It's like, this is not, we're not, we don't have a doctor. We are just Mr. Pib here. This one's kind of like the Great British Pop. It's kind of like, maybe we do have, you know, maybe we do have some credentials. Fake it till you make it, you know what I mean? But it, you, it just never makes it at the end. It's like really, really good. And then it just is like, actually you got me. It's, I'm just, I'm just a Tizer. You know what I mean? It's so weird. Oh, yeah, that is, that is the strangest drink. I don't really know what to make of that. Um, anyways, thank you, Shadow Cloud, for the redemption. <laughs> 